Bree in Washington. Hi, Bree. Hey. Welcome. So you went to your um, grandma's uh, funeral, grandpa's funeral, mm-hmm. and he and you got the fire and brimstone treatment. Oh, <laughs> yeah. That was so much fun. What about your grandpa? <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. Um, God, Jesus loves a captive audience, doesn't he? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Funerals and prisons. Yeah. <laughs> Schools. <Yep. laughs> so tell me what happened. Um, um, so I had to go down to Arkansas recently for my grandpa's funeral. About, about He died about a month ago. Um. And I was there uh, mostly for moral support because my grandpa was a stranger to me, and you can't really mourn for a stranger. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, after this, the, the main pastor for the church got done, he uh, um, introduced a pastor friend of the family who had been asked to speak and he gets on this thing about if you accept Jesus, you'll see uh, him in heaven again and all will be good. And, you know, standard Mm -hmm. (laughs) stuff. Yeah. Yeah. And gets to the point where he uh, asks everyone to bow their head in prayer Mm. And I, being an atheist, <laughs> and being a very out atheist. Good for you. <laughs> like me. I sit would... there, yeah. I sit there respectfully uh, with my head up silently, just, you know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and because my boyfriend and I went in last, uh, we weren't sitting in the family section. So I don't think he knew I was the granddaughter of the deceased. Mm-hmm. But he get on, he went on a ramble that if you didn't accept Jesus, didn't matter what you did, you were going to go to hell. And at that point in time, as he mentioned that, he looked me dead in the eye. Wow. <laughs> well, you Basically can always flip him off. <laughs> I mean, what I've heard about hell, it sounds pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, that, that's that's just rude. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> I, I'm I'm sorry you had to go through that, and and I would say that that's an an example of the religion doing harm. Um, and I think that uh, the belief that you're going to go to heaven and see see your your grandma or your grandpa or whatever uh, and your parents or whatever who's died ahead of you is is a kind of a wishful thinking at best and worse at worse it prevents you from pro- grieving properly and 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 really sort of realizing the fact that that person really is gone and all that's left are the memories yeah. and the legacy of that person and I'm sorry that's why I just I don't go to churches anymore <laughs> I always hated going to churches. It always made my skin crawl in, like, the yeah. worst yeah. way. And, you know, even when I was a Catholic, I didn't like going to churches. Like, my parents took me to Barcelona because my dad traveled and he had a bunch of, like, air miles. And they they kept going to the cathedrals and the churches and everything. And even when I was a Catholic, I was like, this just feels so wrong. Oh. You know, like, you I just... You missed out on the big church in Barcelona. No. Well, it was under, under construction, yeah. <laughs> but, it's, I mean, it still is. I think this was, like, it 10 is, years yeah. ago. <laughs> But anyway, yeah, I, I I can't do churches anymore. But uh, you know, yeah. for for yeah. other atheists in the audience, you know, you you do get sucked into funerals and weddings and and some of these events where there's that's your religion. true. And uh, I wonder. I was I was just waiting for the moment where he was just gonna come up to me and like try to talk to me mm-hmm. and like get me into being a Christian because I'm like. Because I was going to give him the preface. It's like, we can have this conversation. Right, yeah. <laughs> right. You're like, hit me. <laughs> I know my stuff. I Good for you. Religions class. I watched the atheist experience. <laughs> and my stuff. All right. It's a badge of honor. Oh, awesome. my goodness. All right. Well, anything else? Uh, no, I just felt like it would be fun to like share that. And yeah, also, yeah. Like fun tidbit. Like my stepmom came up to me later, like saying, <laughs> "Like I am like the standard of being a human being, and that I'm a very non-judgmental human being, and that I'm very giving and Aww. like 
<laughs> type of person, like, <laughs> I always pose that question to my grandma because she's the person who also thinks that if you don't accept Jesus, you're not going to heaven. I'm like, oh, it's on my grandma. So I'm a good human being who strives to do good and no wrong and I'm still going to hell. <laughs> right. Yeah. So that, that, That's that, not that what God's matters. A, that God's <laughs> a dick, you know. That God's a dick. <laughs> Your moral compass is off. <laughs> <laughs> like, like I want to be a social worker, and I currently work with people Good with disabilities. You. Awesome. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, you're 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 clearly better than the God uh, that these people believe in. Yep. And take heart yep. with that. <laughs> All right. Thank I you agree. for your call, Bree. Mm-hmm. All right. Bye-bye. Have a good day. You too.